I grabbed this sketchbook just before the art shop closed its doors. It's still working online, but unfortunately, with isolation being as it is at the moment, they needed to close their doors to the public. So I grabbed this little sketchbook. I had never seen it before. It's called A Gold Line Mixed Media Art Journal by Claire Fontaine. It is 180 GSM and it is one side textured and one side smooth. And I just thought that I really don't have any square sketchbooks, so I may as well grab it. It was $24 I think I paid Australian. And I thought that I would use this as my self-isolation sketchbook <laughs> and just do some stuff. Although, I don't know about you, but I've been finding it really, really hard to think of original ideas at the moment, which is why I have been doing some of the colorings and paint by numbers because it's a lot less stressful. And I think just in the situation that we're all in, it's very, very hard to be inspired sometimes, but I'm keeping at it. I thought I would at least try and do some stuff. I've not really started much in here. It's still pretty brand new, but how pretty is that? That's such lovely textured paper. I've left the first page blank because it is stuck to this a little bit and it's a bit awkward. I've done one little painting with those golden acrylics that I bought, the open ones. This worked out really well in here. I was quite happy with it. And we're watching a pottery show, The Great Pottery Throwdown, Season 3. And this lady made a sculpture with an emperor penguin holding its egg. And I just thought, oh, well, maybe that could be fun to paint. So I just painted this from a picture I found off Google. I couldn't tell you where it is now. And today I thought I'd do something different. Because it's a mixed media sketchbook. And this does feel a little bit textured. So these ones are textured. But that side's smooth, and that side's textured, so I don't know. I think I might just be working on this side of the book for now. I may go back to it, but you can kind of see how it's ghosting through just a little bit, so I think I might just leave that blank. I thought today I went through some of my really old back catalogue of photographs that I've taken over the years. I was a photographer um, as a full-time kind of profession for a long time, and I also did photography just for fun throughout my life. And once I decided to get a whole bunch of my photos done, my favourite pictures, this one's a bearded dragon that was at Melbourne Zoo, would you believe? That's why I was able to get so close to it. I mean, I, th I think these guys are so cute. Look at their little wrinkly vases in their eyes. They're so adorable. So I thought I might have a go at drawing something from this today. Um... I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a mess of it because I will need to scrunch it down. So I've got a spare sheet of paper that I've cut to fit this. I'm going to draw my sketch on here first and then I will trace it in. I know it's a sketchbook and I should be doing it in here, but it just drives me crazy when there's rubbed out lines and you can still see them. And I'm probably going to use colour pencil for this one, so I thought I'll do it on a piece of just plain old Bond paper sketch it roughly into here and then I'll go over everything in colored pencil so that's the plan for today here's hoping it works out this is actually my second attempt at drawing it in the bottom left hand corner you could see a tiny bit of my first attempt I managed to get the head right but the body proportions were completely wrong and I just decided to scrap it and start again I had initially tried to draw the whole leg but because the photo is in portrait format and my sketchbook is in square format I just wasn't able to do it without making the head of the bearded dragon really really tiny in order to fit the whole body and I really wanted to focus on the head so I drew it a lot bigger and I've just basically done a head and shoulders portrait if you will. My drawing didn't turn out exactly the same as the photo. I've not used a grid or anything like that. I also tend to be someone who draws a lot more stylistically rather than drawing something that is hyper-realistic. Though I do admire people who can create drawings that look exactly the same. But I find that I am just far too impatient for that. So my things tend to be a little bit more, not so much inaccurate, but yeah, just stylized. And I went over the sketch with a fine rollerball pen just to create some line art and make it easier to trace into my book. 
Here we go, just a quick little trace. We're using the light pad, that's the A4 light pad. And then I got out my Daniel Smith paints and I've just very briefly and very lightly painted the background with a couple of neutral sienna colours. I really just wanted to have a light background and the pencil drawing to be in focus and also the paper buckled really really badly so I had to let it sit and dry overnight. And once everything was dry now I'm going in with coloured pencils. I used mainly pencils from the Derwent drawing range and also a couple from Carandash Luminance and I think one from Derwent Lightfast. So now I'll stop talking for a little while and let you watch my process and watch the bearded dragon emerge slowly out of the white page.
Okay, so here we have it. I've decided to call it done. Now there are things on here that are not quite great. <laughs> if I could just take that out and just leave the head, I think that bit worked out um, really well. But the body just, I lost it a bit down here, especially this bit here. It just does not look right and I just can't really get it to look right I think. So, you know, sometimes you just have to call it done. We'll just leave it like that, eh? <laughs> I was thinking about doing more on the background, but really the paper does get quite buckled and I laid this with the book closed and things on top to weigh it down. So I think I'm going to leave it as is, even though it's maybe not quite as defined as I would like. Perhaps I'll just add, I mean, really white pen isn't going to do a lot over the top, but I'll just add just a tiny little bit of white pen. You can see them in the wax is kind of preventing it from going on, but it's not exactly archival, but there we go. <laughs> a tiny little bit just to define it from the background. But I enjoyed doing this. It was a bit of fun. It was nice to actually do something that was actually uh, from my own photo, my own artwork. And hopefully I will get some more sketchbook pictures done soon. I have some ideas to put in here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this drawing. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I will swatch you later. Bye.